Hello students, today we will see the series arrangement of the resistors. We have studied in the past Ohm's law. What is the Ohm's law? Ohm's law is the relation between the potential difference and the current. We have studied in the Ohm's law that the current flowing through the conductor depends upon the resistance. Resistance determines how much current will flow through the current at a particular potential difference. For example, if you would like to increase the current flowing through the conductor, then the resistance of the conductor should be less. And if you want to decrease the value of the current flowing through the conductor, then the value of resistance should be more. So, students, the series arrangement of the conductor and the parallel arrangement of the conductor is used to decrease the current flowing through the circuit or increase the value of the current flowing through the circuit respectively. So, today let us see what is a series arrangement of resistors. Resistor is a conductor, a resistor is a term used for any conductor which offers some resistance. So, it is not something specific, uh, some specific material. A copper wire is a resistor, aluminum wire is a resistor, nichrome wire is a resistor. So, let us see series arrangement. In the series arrangement, suppose we have three resistors. Each resistor has two ends. We can see here this is resistors, resistance R1, this is resistance R2, and this is resistance R3. These are having each resistor has two ends. If we join one end of the resistor to the other end of the resistor, then this type of arrangement is said to be a series arrangement of the resistors. And if you connect this series arrangement of the resistance to a, a battery, then here we can see these three resistors are connected to a battery having a potential difference V and we can know, we can find out the potential difference across this resistors using 3 voltmeters okay and it is found that the voltage gets divided amongst these resistors so in the series arrangement voltage changes and current flowing through the series arrangement remains constant what do you mean by voltage changes? That means, for example, if the potential difference of this battery is 12 volt, then this can be 9 volts, this can be 1 volt, this can be 2 volt. But the sum of the potential difference of the three uh, across the three resistors will be always equal to the 12 volt or the main battery. So, therefore, I said that the potential difference across these three resistors changes when they are connected in series. So, let us remember this that what potential difference changes. So, the first will be first formula will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. Remember this potential difference V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now, what is Ohm's law? According to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. So, what applying the Ohm's law to the three individual resistors? So, let us apply it for the first resistors. V1 is equal to IR1 for the first resistor. Applying the Ohm's law to the second resistor, V2 is equal to IR2 for the second resistor and applying the Ohm's law to the three third resistor V is equal to IR3. So, here we can see that I is same in the three because the I current flowing through this is same because there is only one path. There is the path of the circuit is not divided or the circuit is not branched. Therefore, current flowing through the circuit remains constant. 
so therefore v1 is equal to ir1 v2 is equal to ir2 v3 is equal to ir3 and we know that v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 but what is v v is ir and what is v1 ir1 plus ir2 plus ir3 so i is common we will call this rs series arrangement i common r1 plus r2 plus r3 i i gets cancelled so rs is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 so here what we can see is when the resistors are connected in series the value of sum of the value of the resistance increases are you getting so if if the value of the resistance is suppose let us take the value of this resistance is 2 ohm value of this resistance is 3 ohm and value of the, this resistance is 4 ohm then rs r effective resistance will be 2 ohm plus 3 ohm plus 4 ohm that is 9 ohm so what we can say is whenever the resistors are connected in series they get added up and so when the sir the when the sir when the resistances gets added up the effective resistance increases and and therefore the value of the current flowing to the circuit decreases